Because let's bring in a Henry. Henry, did, did, a, did a lizard just poop on you? Oh, no. It relieved itself a little bit on my shirt. I guess that is it one of the... It happens once in a while. That's one of the hazards with, with lizards, I guess. You can't, you can't potty train them. But you got it posing again in the chair, I, in the sofa. I'm just amazed by that pose. Actually, the lizards uh, are potty trained. They, they take a shower in the morning, like these three here. And once they've drank their water and been in the shower, they're like pooped. They're good for the day. Did, no. did, did, did they take a shower with you, Henry? <laughs> Not really, no. OK. All right, I'm just, just checking. I love the regal pose. It hasn't gone that far. Oh, it hasn't gone that far. All right. I, I'm but I used to sleep with, Sorry, go ahead. with one of my favorite iguanas. I had a great iguana that I would uh, keep in my bed. And, and when I came home, that iguana would be sleeping somewhere else in the house. He would actually wake up and walk over to my bedroom and get inside my bed on wow. his own. Wow. See, people don't know, a lot of these lizards especially iguanas, they have a lot of intelligent behavior that you will see once they become calm and relaxed and they're, they're, they're comfortable in a home. Henry, I don't know how to ask but this, They're all but different. Do, do you live alone? <laughs> you know, these lizards have been the most amazing uh, chick magnet. I've, I've met thousands of different women from all over the country because of these lizards. I have so, never heard that, that a lizard is a chick magnet. Um, that's incredible. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, it works for me. <laughs> I'm glad it does.